Alex, you put up a bill last week to get this uh, heard again in the Senate. I've looked through and you thanked mm. on Twitter those people who voted yes for your bill and the great, uh, you know, there's uh, Matt Canavan, as you said, and uh, uh, James Patterson, Holly Hughes, others. I failed to see some of your colleagues like Simon Birmingham or, or, or Andrew Bragg or Jane Hume on the yes list. Now, why are your colleagues in the Senate not supporting you? And if they're not, let me just say... Right down the lens, please, if the camera can come here. Shame on you, anyway. Shame on you if you did not support... Shame on you if you did not... If you're a Liberal and you did not support Alex Antic in the Senate last week, shame on you, because this stuff is a disgrace. And as Alex is saying, the children of the future rely on you, Liberal Party, to sort this out. Alex, I know you can't slag off your colleagues. Colleagues, that's my job. <laughs> that's why we have this show here. But... Um, why aren't the Liberal Party supporting you in this crusade? Because it is fundamental. Well, look, I, I don't know the answer. That's probably a question best left for others. Uh, suffice to say that it wasn't just a number from, from my side. It was also the entirety of the Labor Party and the entirety of the Greens, most of the crossbench. Uh, and some, some voted no, some just didn't attend the chamber, which, of course, is the other way of doing this. Um, but once again, we're talking about having a hearing. We're talking about discussing it. We're not talking about passing the bill. The whole purpose of going to a hearing is to hammer out details, to try and take evidence from experts. Uh, and so it is a procedural matter at the end of the day. Uh, look, I, I don't know. The answer is probably, or the question is probably better put to others, I would say, Rowan. Yeah, OK. Well, I think the point is, if the Liberals aren't supporting you on this, shame on them. Every individual not involved. You expect Labor, you expect the Greens not to support this. Rita. Well, absolutely. And we have seen in North America, we have seen in Europe, from Scandinavia to the UK and elsewhere, a complete rethink in this area, mm. where they have looked, exactly. done reviews, yeah. thorough reviews, and realised they were doing harm to these poor, confused kids, and there's a better way of carrying out these treatments. Okay, and um, in Australia, there's no transparency. We can't exactly. even get clear data on precisely what's happening, what's the youngest age where a double mastectomy has been performed exactly. for gender-affirming care. Senator Alexander, we've got to go, but thank you so much for coming on outside and explaining that to us. And the... People of South Australia, as well as the people of Australia, owe you so much for actually pursuing this issue. It is critical to future generations, and uh, we applaud you for doing so, and we trust the rest of the Liberal Party and the rest of the Parliament get behind you. Uh, Senator Alex Antic, always great to have you here on Outsiders. Thank you.